everyone, this is William from SkySiv, and in this video we're going to be looking at composite sections with different materials. So I'll start things off by adding an I-beam. Now I'm happy with this I-beam made out of structural steel, but I wanted to be able to add a concrete block on top of it. So I do that by firstly unchecking this box because I want to add more than one shape onto the board. And here I have my rectangular block. And now I'm going to be changing the width to the same width as the I-beam. And changing the height as well. Now, just in the previous video, I'm going to be translating this on top of the I-beam. So I do that by ensuring that I specify a value that's the same height as the I-beam. And just as so. Now, I want to be able to make this concrete, however, when you cycle through the two shapes, you will notice that structural steel is set as the default. So I'm going to change this to concrete, and you'll notice that the properties of Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, and density are all changed accordingly. However, if you want to be able to change the values, for example, there are many grades of structural steel, and I want to pick a grade that's, for example, um, 100 megapascals higher than the default. So if I make that change in the field, and then for example I, you know, I cycle through the different materials just to take a look at them, and then I go back to structural steel, you will notice that it will still remember the change that you made. So now that I have concrete on the top and structural steel um, in my custom grade, I'm ready to hit a solve. And you'll notice that you'll sometimes get this alert which indicates a partial overlap or full overlap. So this pops up when you have two shapes that are just touching each other or ones that are partially overlapping. Now, because I know that the geometry is okay and they're only just touching each other, I'm going to solve anyway. So here you'll notice something a little bit new. You'll notice that you now have two tabs and right now you've been selected in the transform tab. So each of these properties that are displayed are based on what's known as the transformed section method. So you'll notice that even though the true area is higher than this value, we've transformed the concrete block into an equivalent structural steel block which will have a reduced area and a shifted neutral axis. The corresponding properties are also scaled to an appropriate amount. However, we also preserved the original calculated values along with the transformed values. So because we currently transform all sections to the material with the highest Young's modulus, you'll notice that the area in the transformed results will always be lower. So this will give you an idea about the equivalent section that is sent across to the solver if you are integrating this with structural 3D. One thing we haven't talked about is the concept of cutouts. However, that will be saved for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video about composite shapes with different materials, and I hope to catch you next time. Thanks, and bye for now.